Gruesome new details today as the man behind one of Tennessee's deadliest homicide cases appeared in a Sumner County courtroom. Michael Cummins is accused of killing eight people in 2019 in Westmoreland. News 2's Stephanie Langston was in the courtroom and explains the grisly details in this investigation. That's right, details of one of the most gruesome cases investigators have ever worked outlined in court today before the judge makes the important decision to try these three crime scenes together or not. All victims, every single one of these victims were killed by blunt force trauma to the head. Brutal details in eight Sumner County slayings. Each uh, person had the, the significant injuries were to their skulls, to their heads. Among the victims, the parents of Michael Cummins, as well as a 12 year old girl. The state describing murder weapons found inside the family home, including broken bats. There's bats, there's three different bats that are located in the wholesale trailer in addition to the gun. And it would be our proof that the gun was used uh, in the commission of these crimes as a, to use blunt force trauma. Okay, okay. Please understand that there is so much blood material on these bats, it's difficult to differentiate all the different uh, contributors. Photos of bloody shoe impressions also shown in court connecting the crime scenes. The state pointing to the proximity of the scenes, the common scheme, and motive as to why the cases need to be tried together. All of these crimes were committed to cover up a theft. A stolen rifle at one crime scene and a stolen car at another. The prosecution saying Cummins' family planned to turn him in before they were brutally murdered. The defense is saying there isn't proof of some of the state's claims and that Cummins will not get a fair trial if these cases are tried together. Reporting from Sumner County, Stephanie Langston, News 2. Now the judge says he will make a ruling on the motion to sever the cases at the next motion hearing on August 27th. Cummins' grandmother is the lone survivor and she does have recorded testimony in this case.